We have another secondary program funded by Enbridge, and that is to develop advanced underwater sensing capability to try and make all types of uh, submerged infrastructure safer, including the pipelines that cross the Straits of Mackinac. So we have purchased a state-of-the-art, fully autonomous vehicle. We've been working diligently with the manufacturers and other faculty here to greatly improve its ability to navigate in the waters of, of the Straits of Mackinac. Uh, the vehicle is pre-programmed. We program it to fly five meters above the bottom and 15 meters offset from the pipeline. What you see here is, is an image from its very high resolution sonar. Uh, this is directly below the vehicle. It doesn't see directly below. It looks out about a football field either side, and this is the Enbridge pipeline. So it provides almost photographic um, quality images, but they're son sonar images. And we now have got to the point where we can run across the Straits of Mackinac once a month with this vehicle rather than once every four to five years is what's required of for the inspections of the, of the exterior of the pipeline. So it provides a very rapid way. We're in the midst of a big engineering evaluation on how accurately we can actually measure things. And I'll show you here a, a blow up of, of that sonar imaging for, for scale. Uh, we're running here 18 meters offset from the pipeline. You can see the bottom intersects at about five meters, which is what we program the vehicle to do. Um, and then you're seeing here individual softball-sized rocks. The pipeline is 20 inches in diameter. And we're, we're able to measure things like how does the topography change around the pipeline? Are, there, are the span lengths getting smaller or larger? And like I say, we can do that as often as, as once a month. We'll show you some more vivid examples of this when we go downstairs to the boathouse.